Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, brought to you today by information technology and data hosting company Nexian Group, ASX code NNG. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the CEO of Nexian Group, Paul Glass. Hi, Paul. Morning, how are you? Good. Perth-based Nexian Group only listed on the ASX in February this year and is already on the acquisition trail, having recently snapped up Perth telco firm Blue Sky. Telecom. Nexian's core business, amongst other ICT related services, is the provision of both private and public cloud based storage solutions and it operates service nodes out of Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, Auckland, Singapore, and London. Paul, I want to get into that Blue Sky Telecom acquisition in a minute, but first, exactly where does Nexian fit into the market? What is it that you guys do? So, we're an enterprise ICT solutions provider. We provide local and global technology as a service. So we're very focused at the technology as a service market. We offer public, private cloud infrastructure and the ability for enterprise customers to access both public and private cloud in what we call a hybrid cloud or R1 cloud node. Okay, so you've just acquired Blue Sky Telecom. Who are they and exactly what do they do? Blue Sky Telecom, they're a telecommunications company. They were formed in 2001. They're a, they're a strong West Australian company. They've got over 380 active clients. They focus very heavily on the mining industry. It's a perfect fit for the company because we not only see cost rationalisation, but we increase our customer base. Okay, well, let's get into some of the financials associated with the Blue Sky acquisition. Firstly, what did you pay for the the company? We pay $2 million cash without any further acquisition tranches. And what sort of revenue growth has Blue Sky seen, say, in the last three years? Give me annual turnover numbers if you've got them. Yes, so they've seen steady growth. Uh, FY19, 2.2 million revenue. FY20, 2.4. And in 21, they um, just should have 4 million at 3.93 million annualised revenue. Okay, well, importantly, what percentage of that 3.9 or 4 million odd FY21 turnover was annual recurring revenue that you'll be able to suck up into your business? 86% of it is recurring revenue. And obviously, that's important for us because Nexion has very focused on new large revenue. What synergies, if any, do you expect to squeeze out of the deal with Blue Sky when it's finally housed under the same roof as Nexion? I think to be honest, I think the outcome of the two businesses or the combination of the two businesses not only increases our, our resource base and broadens our skill set, but we also have the ability to just to see some cross so cost rationalisation with our suppliers and the combination of the two teams can deliver the services. So yeah, we're expecting to see combined reduction in costs, but also increased capability. Paul Glass from Nexian Group, thanks for joining me on Bulls and Bears today. And remember, we're only here to give you information, not advice, which you should of course seek independently. I'm Matt Burney and this is Bulls and For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6pr.com.au and click the public companies tab.